welcome. We are Broken Shark College nursing students here to show you how to do proper colostomy care. I'm Jessica, the narrator. I'm Patricia, the watcher. I'm Solis, the patient. And I'm Sigma Injun, the nurse. The procedures in this video can help you understand how to perform with proper technique in a real life situation. The following guidelines will make care of your colostomy easier. Oh, your colostomy bag is full. I'll just go and tell the nurse, okay? okay. Nurse? Yes? Well, my mother's colostomy bag is already full. Can yeah. I just replace it? What's your room number again? It's room 201. Give the information, I'll just give you alright? Step 1. Wash hands. Be sure to remove all jewelry and watches. This is to prevent from spreading any harmful microorganisms. Step 2. Gather your equipment. Gather your equipment such as the bedpan, a mask, alcohol, sterile OS, gloves, a ball pin for measuring, a stoma bag, powder, cotton balls, stoma guide for measuring the stoma, scissors, and a towel. Hello, good morning, ma'am. How are you? Good morning. So I'll just check the wristband first. Again, Next, identify your patient. Check the wristband or the name label on the bed to ensure you have the correct patient. Explain the procedure to your patient to promote cooperation during the colostomy care. So how are you now? Do you feel, do you feel any painful sensation right now? So your daughter said that your philosophy bag is full, so may I check it? Okay. Oh, it's already full. I think it's really full. Okay. Maybe you've eaten a lot. Huh? <laughs> okay. So, okay, let's check. Next, fold down the linens to expose the ostomy site. Position the patient so that no skin folds occur along the line of the stoma. Don a clean pair of gloves. Place a towel under the colostomy bag to prevent leakage. Position the bedpan underneath the colostomy bag. Open it by removing the clamp and unrolling it into the bottom and empty the existing ostomy pouch into a bedpan. One hand, gently remove the old wafer from the skin, beginning at the top and proceeding in a downward direction. At the same time, use the other hand to hold tension on the skin in the opposite direction of the pool. If resistance is encountered and the wafer is difficult, use adhesive remover or rubbing alcohol according to facility protocol. Next. Inspect the stoma and peristomal skin. It should be pink in color, moistened, and not bleeding. Note the location, color, swelling, trauma, or healing irritation if observed. Report to the physician for any excess bleeding. Use warm water and mild soap to cleanse stoma and surrounding skin. Allow the area to dry.
Place a clean 4x4 gauze pad over the stoma. Measure the size of the stoma in one of the following ways. Using a standard stoma measuring guide placed over the stoma, reusing a previously cut template, or measuring the stoma from side to side, approximating the circumference. Trace the size of the opening onto the paper on the back side of the new wafer. Cut the opening. Wafer openings are approximately 1 16th to 1 8th inch larger than the circumference of the stoma. Remove gloves and wash hands. Peel the paper off the wafer. Some resources suggest first holding the wafer between the palms of the hands to warm the adhesive ring. Some ostomy wafers come with an outer ring of tape attached. If so, do not remove the backing on the tape until the wafer is securely positioned. Don Clean Procedure Gloves If ostomy skincare products are to be used, apply them at this time. For example, wiping around the stoma with skin prep, applying skin barrier powder or paste, or applying extra adhesive paste. Remove the gauze. Center the wafer opening around the stoma and gently press down. If using a one-piece pouch, make sure the bag is pointed toward the patient's feet. If using a two-piece system, place the wafer on first. When the seal is complete, attach the bag following manufacturer's instructions. For an open-ended pouch, fold the ends of the pouch over the clamp and close the clamp, listening for a click to ensure it is secure. Ask the patient to place her hand over the newly applied wafer to warm the adhesive ring, making it adhere better. Some sources also suggest taping down the edges of the wafer. Remove gloves and wash hands. Return the patient to a comfortable position. Dispose of used ostomy pouch following agency policy for biohazardous waste. Make sure to document.